Hello friends, welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if this is the first video of mine that you're catching, welcome. My name is Rachel and I am a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So I purchase inventory online. I come on here, I show you what I order and then I resell it on these various platforms for a profit. So today we are unboxing the ready to list secondhand designer shoe packs from Help Sea Source. So if you want to see what they sent me, definitely stick around. So they had these listed on the site for $85 for five pair of shoes. For me, um, it came to, I actually ordered two of them. I'm gonna unbox both. So it came to, with shipping and everything, $183.62 for 10 pair, um, or $18.36 for per pair. So because they were, um, because Help Sea Source charges for shipping now, I guess it could vary if you ordered it or not, but um, that's what I paid. And I actually didn't order this right away. It was listed on the site for a little while before I actually decided to purchase because at first it did not seem like a very good deal. I'm like $18 for used shoes. Like, and I was looking at the brands list and I was like, um, I don't know that I would pay $18 for most of these brands. But after thinking about it and thinking about it, it says ready to list. So I am expecting that these are in good, very good to excellent condition. I'm expecting that they are clean. I'm not going to have to put any work into them. And so I'm like, you know what? I have to just give it a shot. So anyway, I'll unbox them for you today. It is only 10 pair of shoes, but they're in two separate boxes here. So like maybe they're a new in box or with the boxes at least. I'm not sure, but I guess we're going to find out together. So if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. Every time I buy a new box, I come on here, I show you what I got. And I always come back 90 days later to give you an update of whether or not I made money and whether I would um, purchase another one based on my results. So hit that like button too, if you could, that certainly helps me out. And let me know if you ordered this box. I am just now opening mine. Um, but I would love to hear how your experience was if you ordered it. So let me know in the comments. If you do want to order this box, feel free to use my affiliate code. It's linked down below. Or if you type, oh yeah, O-H-Y-E-A-H, -E it will take 10% off of your order on helpseasource.com. Um, I don't know if this one is going to be available at the time of me, uh, at the time of this video coming out, but you're welcome to check it out. It works on all the boxes on the site. So let's go ahead and open this up. $18.36 per pair. So I'm going to get all this stuff listed on uh, at least Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And I do use List Perfectly to cross post everything. So I make the draft in List Perfectly and then I cross post it very quickly and easy to at least those three platforms. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you about my rating system. Um, what I'm going to do, I will rate initially what I see after I open them. I'll do them both together because I'm going to do the 90-day update together, I guess. I'm going to rate the ease of listing, quality of items, and overall profitability in 90 days with an oh yeah if it's really good, an oh okay if it's just, you know, meh, or if I'm really not sure, or an oh no if I'm like, there's no way I'm going to profit from this. My goal on this one is going to be to at least double my money. So I want to make a good 400 bucks on these, um, on these 10 pair of shoes. I want to make my money back plus double. So fingers crossed here. Um, when I do the 90 day update, I may also call it a holy grail. If I'm like, oh my gosh, I made so much money. This is great. Totally great box or dumpster fire if it's like super bad. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Now that I've gone through the ratings, oh look, everything here is in boxes. And look at that brand right on top. If you can't see it, I will show you. Kate Spade. Are these going to actually be Kate Spade shoes in here? They are Kate Spade. And... These are size eight and a half. The flamenco is the style. And if these were ever worn, which I don't, these, these look like they're new. I mean, 
there's no indentation on the toe bed. There's really no... There's a little bit... There's a little bit of wear right here. So... That could just be from being in the box, though. I mean, obviously, I would disclose that. But actually, like, being worn, I... These don't show any signs of actually being worn, so. I mean, obviously I have to look up the style. I, I don't, I'm not familiar with Kate Spade shoe styles. So I really just don't know like how much these are worth, but I mean, I suppose that's a good start. Um, I'll go here next. So these are Skechers D-Lights. Oh, so these are like a slip-on. I mean, these are new. These are brand new in box. Wide fit, size 8. I don't necessarily know that these retail for very high. Um, so I don't know if $18 is really good for these, if I'm being honest, but with a mystery box, you know, you're going to have some usually that are worth way more and then others that are, you know, maybe going to hit your break even point. But if I'm going to sell Skechers, I would rather them be new in box. Um, not that I thrift much these days anyway, but if I were to find Skechers at a thrift store, um, even if they were new, I don't know that I would pay $18 for them. Unless they were like for me, I guess. If, if they happen to fit on my feet. Okay, these are Seaves. S-E-A-V-E-E-S. -E -E these are the Del Mar Espadrille. Which is, it's what it shows here on the side. Um, I've heard of this brand, but I'm not familiar. I am definitely not familiar. Um, these are men's. There's no way these are women's. Yeah, these are men's 11. Um, I don't know what this is. There's like a, there's like product information printed in, in the box. I wonder where they got these from. These are definitely new in box too though. Like, Again, not familiar with the brand enough to tell you whether or not they're worth $18 a piece. There's no price tag or anything on the box, so. Okay. Oh gosh, you guys. On clouds. This, oh, they're a nine and a half. I wear a 10. On clouds are my favorite shoes. When I'm shopping for shoes for myself personally, I buy on clouds like over and over and over again. And, um, I wear a 10. These are a 9 and a 5, 9.5. That's a bummer. But on clouds um, have a pretty good resale value. They they are pretty expensive retail price and they don't really go on sale ever. Oh, these are beautiful. I'm so sad. Look at these. And these, I mean, they have a little dirt on the bottom. So like maybe they were tried on. Um uh, you know, one of you guys recommended to me to wipe the soles with like a Clorox wipe or a baby wipe. I almost wonder, I mean, these don't look like they were worn outside. They look like maybe they were tried on in a store or something, um, which I, I'm sure I could just disclose that. But I mean, these are new. These are basically new. These are new. I have no reason to think that these were worn outside aside from maybe being tried on which I can totally just disclose okay this is the last pair in this box this is a big box here This is the brand Circus New York. Not familiar with this brand. Um, these are boots, but the 
style name is covered up. So, oh, okay, so these are like combat boots. These are an eight and a half. I mean, the sole is immaculate. These are unworn. Um, and they've got like the Sherpa on the back. Here's the other one. So I would say these are pretty in style right now. Okay, maybe not with the like Sherpa, but come fall. I feel like this brand is not super expensive. Um, I'll have to find out. Okay. All right, so that's the first five. Um, I am going to switch boxes. Are you familiar with Circus New York? Let me know. Oh, and if you're interested in any of this stuff, definitely visit my Poshmark eBay Mercari. My goal is always to have this stuff listed before the video goes live. So go check out my stores if you are uh, interested in any of these. Okay, so that was my first box of five. Here is my second box of five. Uh, could be entirely different assortment. The brands list, and actually I'll pop it up here if I can remember the brands list had a whole lot of brands in it. So I'm expecting there's not going to really be duplicates. Um, let's see. Hmm. All right, well, here's what's right on top. These, how exciting, Sorrells. Sorrells are expensive, um, especially boots. And these are like low profile I don't know if these are going to be like the waterproof ones. I don't know. I got more product information here. RMX Chuka Booty. Waterproof canvas uppers. Okay. And these, uh, yeah, these have not been worn or tried on or anything. So, fantastic. All right. The next box is Joseph Siebel. Uh, these are the Dakota... Um, again, a brand I've heard of, but not familiar enough with to comment on the like value. I, I really don't know. Um, these are a size 40. So these are European sized clogs. I feel like I've maybe sold this brand before. I feel like I found a pair of Joseph Siebel shoes way back in the day when I used to live in Michigan and I used to shop at the bins, and they looked nice, and for $3, I picked them up. But that's about as much information as I have. Um, so I have to see what the deal is with those. All right, these are, oh, okay, I'll take Uggs, Classic Ultra Mini, size seven. So these, these look to be unworn. They do have, and I don't even know if this is like a problem or, I feel like there's a little bit of discoloration right there. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? And right there, and then it's not on this one. Like this one's fine. So I don't know if that is like a problem um, oh, this one is like, oh, that's going to be an issue. This one is totally like chewed up. <laughs> it's got holes in it. Like you can see the inner lining. I'm going to have to email Helpsy about these because this, this, this shoe is damaged, hundred percent damaged. Okay. I know they have a 15% flaw rate, but I would not expect like unlistable shoes. That's not really a flaw to me. That's like, I can't sell these. So, all right. Two more pair. These are Champion. The, these are a men's nine. These are straight up like dad shoes, I think. So these are new as well. Bam. Look at those. I don't actually know if champion shoes are like, I don't, I don't know if they sell for a lot. I have no idea, but they're new. 
All right. Last pair. This is also a personal favorite brand of mine, or I guess my, my whole household. My husband likes these too. These are Keen. Great shoe. Um, these are the Vista Energy. Let's see what this box look like. Oh yeah, these are nice. Look at these. And then these are also unworn. They have the slip resistant heels. So these are nice too. Okay. So I don't really have to count. There's definitely 10 pair of shoes here. Um, my initial reaction, ease of listing, I think, I'm gonna say, oh yeah, ease of listing, they're all new in box with the exception of the Sorrells, but I have the style names for all of these. So it should be very easy for me to look them up, find the information, figure out how much they were selling for online or how much um, how much they are right now or if they were on sale or sold out or whatever. That should be very easy for me to figure out. Um, quality of items. With the exception of the Uggs, let's pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to give Help Sea Source the benefit of the doubt and assume that they will reimburse me for those. I feel like that would have been one of the more valuable pair in the box, so that kind of sucks. I would have given this an oh yeah had it not been for that one pair. I think overall, though, 9 out of 10 are really good, but I'm just giving it an oh okay because I do have to message them and I think at best I'm going to get maybe $18 back even though I would have needed that pair to like make some profit on the box you know so I'll have to see what they'll do for me um and then profitability in 90 days based on the nine pair I'm going to say oh okay just because I simply do not know at face value, they look really great. They're all in the box. They're all in really good condition with the exception of the one. But, you know, saturation is an issue. And, um, you know, if it's a good style or not, that's kind of unknown for me right now. So I'm just going to say, oh, okay. I do think I can make my money back, but I don't really want to just make my money back. Nobody wants to work to make their money back. They want to work to profit. So that's what I'm going to aim for here. I will come back in 90 days. I will let you know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have knowledge of any of these brands um, or if you ordered this, let me know what yours looked like. Um, but I'm going to get to work listing this stuff. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to see the update uh, in 90 days and hit that like button on the way out if you could. That definitely helps out the channel too. And that's it for today, friends. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.